We have always thought that it might be a good question to put to Mr. Kenneth Dodd and the members of the Beatles. Uh, to what extent do they attribute their success to their hairstyles? And we'll start by asking that question now of Mr. Ken Dodd. Uh, with hairstyle, well, I think it uh, has a big deal, a uh, great deal to do with my, uh, what me what, success. Your hairstyle. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, I think so, yes. I like to keep it in trim. You know, I eat a lot of shredded wheat because it's good for the hair. And uh, I have it cut <laughs> twice a year, whether I need it or not, short back and sides and a bit off the shoulders. And, uh, you know, I think so. Oh, well, what do you feel about the boys? I think there's a remarkable, a wonderful style, actually, because they're different than me, because with them being Martians, uh, they... <laughs> 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 A professor of archaeology at Nottingham University has <laughs> discovered some tablets which say that the Beatles are definitely Martians. Grundy's their leader. <laughs> how, how long have you known this, Kenny? Bill Grundy? Well, I've known he was out of this world for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, well, Martians. And as Martians, I think it's a very good, uh, it's a very good hairstyle. Thank you very much. I'd like one of those myself. Do, do you think that they that their hairstyles are the things that caught on, uh, Ken? Do you think that's why they're so successful? Oh, no, no, no. I think, I think these boys have a very nice gimmick. Talent. And, uh, <laughs> no, I think they would have gone without, without, with or without hairstyles. Who actually designed it, boys? Is it... Uh, uh, well, Camel Lurds? Israeli. Uh, Israeli! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was done by Camel Lurds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have mine done there, you know, they get the scaffolding up once a year and... Uh, <laughs> All right, well, let's turn the tables out. Boys, what do you think of Mr. Ken Dodd? That's great. He's He's marvellous. He's he's a good It's lovely hair. He's He's lovely hair. (laughs) Hair is lovely. (laughs) Yeah. We, have, we call it her in Liverpool, you see. We always say the Judy with the fur, her. <laughs> we have a, a fellow went into one of those shops once in Liverpool where they sell those, uh, you know, minks and things, and he says, uh, the girl, he said, give us one of those uh, hurry coats. <laughs> I say, I beg your pardon, sir, what fur? He said, for the Judy, who do you think? <laughs> um, do you think that he owes a lot of his success to his hairstyle, fellas? No, I don't think it helped at all. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would have been better if it was bald. <laughs> but <laughs> bald? <laughs> oh, no, no, no bald. With the teeth, I think the teeth on the hair, all the jimmicks, you know, I think you have to have a... I think you definitely have to have a jimmick. Oh, yes, the nose? You've all got jimmicks, haven't you, Lloyd? Eh? What about the nose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the nose? He's a Martian. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we were, we, were, we were writing this uh, film script for the boys, you know, the boys yeah. making this new film, and we've been writing the script, and actually yeah. we've cast Ringo in the part of King Charles on account of the uh, thing, you know, and he goes along <laughs> to Nell Gwynn and pinches her jaffas. And <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about this picture. We didn't know about this. Oh, yes, we've written the thing. Oh, oh, it's all part. I'm he, writing, he's writing, writing, I'm writing the oh, script, yeah. yes. Um, new deal. Yes, <laughs> with the uh, with Naughty Ash University, you know, the help of the people, the professors there. Uh, he's King Charles. John is a courtier, and in the uh, pl- in this film, he wears a long golden wig with all beautiful curls oh, very nice. <laughs> and uh, a blue velvet jacket, and uh, like sort of knickerbockers with lace around the bottom, <laughs> and uh, buckle shoes with diamante clips on. And he sort of walking around on the film set, and there's a policeman standing on the side, and he said, "We'll bench him when he comes off." <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, what's he supposed to be doing, though? I mean, what well, John, he's a peasant. He's an evil son. Thingy. He's... He's an evil spelling peasant. An evil uh, spelling peasant. Yeah. Why is he an evil spelling peasant? Why is he an evil spelling peasant? Come and stand where I am. Finished. Yeah. Paul is a jester. You see, yeah. and he's always making the, the king laugh. Yeah. Every time he stands in his head, the king laughs like anything. He wears a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> Is he pigeon chest? <laughs> The, the film all uh, takes part, all about this. We're trying to get uh, Bridget Bardot to play Nell Gwynn, yeah. and uh, he cops them one by one, you see, uh, <laughs> and has them all, uh, has their noggins cut off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And their head. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And then they do, they've, they've got this hit song, which, um, what is it, uh, what's the song? Uh, please let me uh, break your leg. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Twist your arm. Next week. <laughs> that's, that's it, yes. Yeah. It's very nice too, lads. Uh, this, this, this is, in fact, a period musical then, is that right? Yes, yes, yes all the boys think. And, of course, in the, at the end of the film, this handsome Arabian prince comes on and finally uh, steals <laughs> Nell Gwynn. That's me, of course. <laughs> Yes. So, so you come on just in the last week. As an Arabian Kenny. prince, yes. As an Arabian prince. Yes. Skavinsky, Skavar. I Lovely should imagine that's not, <laughs> that's, that's not very easy for you to come on as an Arabian prince. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh yes. Yes. what? Smoking me hookah? 
<laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, very well, huh? <laughs> but actually, boys, that's nothing about haircuts, is it? I mean, you do have to eat any special food to uh, keep this going. Do you have uh, jam butties or... No, straw. just straw. Straw, you have? Oh, I still have bales. I have, sky, I have the berries off the scouse bushes <laughs> uh, that grow on the banks of the Mersey. You have these, and it's made into a juice. It's made, they, they get the, when the scouse bushes are in bloom, around about the back end of November now, they get the uh, berries and they squeeze them into a glass and it makes a wonderful juice called yaki juice. And uh, I drink a lot of this yaki juice yes. and, uh, you know, there you go. That's, right. <laughs> That's, That's, why, why, like That's why I look like I do now. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about their guitar playing, Ken? Do you, have you any comments to make about that? Wonderful, them? wonderful, because uh, one of the boys is a big fan of Se Segovia. Tom. Yes, and she's Tom. no mug, I mean. You know. <laughs> 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 I like that. Is this true, Segovia? Segovia. Yeah, know, Segovia. You're, you're the big fan of Segovia, mm, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Didn't you ask for his autograph the other week? Well, I got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I read about that, yeah. Mm. I asked for his autograph. I didn't really, but... I don't mind having it. No, well, I've got a list of expenses down as a taxi, <laughs> yeah. Dean Bob, from Naughty Ash to the Philharmonic. <laughs> and, uh, I'll let what, you have it after. What about guitar yourself, Ken? Do you play? You don't? No, no, no. no. I, I give a little tootle on the saxophone. You know, that's a ill yeah. wind that nobody blows good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, just to annoy the neighbours. But you you no, no ambitions to play guitar like these lads? Oh, I'd love to be able to play the guitar like these lads, yes. I wonder if they... Do you think you'd take a fifth beetle on? Yeah, well, we were thinking, wondering, of, that. Yeah, we I were was thinking of that. Too. Or, I mean, I don't want to split your group up, lads. I often wonder, though, why you don't let Ringo sing. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, why don't we you could, let Ringo sing? We could sing. have a... I don't know. I don't he know. Does oh, sing, we, he do. Does. we do. You just haven't got oh, the LP. new LP. Yeah, yeah. The LP yeah. No. Well, this is the new LP, yeah. which is up to LP. number 17 or something right away in the top. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that, Chen? Yeah, the new LP is up. I have an LP, a large pimple. I bet you've had that one for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is one of our people. He plays for three days. Uh, and it's like there's a hole in the middle. You can either play it or blow peas. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to this group, Ken, have, I, you, have, I, you, have you no ambitions to form a group yourself? Love to. Love it with the boys. Yeah. Kenny and the well, coaches. No, I mean, I'm, Kenny and the coaches. <laughs> Well, or Doddy and the Diddy Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what about yourself? Would you, would or you, Ringo and the Layabouts. <laughs> <laughs> would you not form one yourself, Ken? Yes, I'd like to, yes, because uh, the only thing is I'd have to but change Doddy my name, you see. I'd have to have a name like Cliff or Rock, something earthy. Well, I don't know, eh? Flash. Cliff Dodd. No. <laughs> Rock Dodd. No, let's invite suggestions for an earthy name for me. Yeah, well, what about that fellow? Yeah. Uh, eh? Sod. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that. Gritty. Gritty. Gritty Dodd and his group. Any more suggestions now, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't follow that. No, I don't follow that. I'm going to leave that one alone. I think. Well, what about <laughs> that? <laughs> well, what about the boys? I mean, they, you asked me where I'd like to be a group. What about the lads? You're all. I'd like to be a group, too. <laughs> you are a group. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't you like to? You do comedy as well, don't you? I've seen John. You do some. Uh, I just say lines. Uh, yes, you say, say some very good lines. Oh, thank you. That one, the one about the jewel rattling the jewels. That was very good, though. <laughs> yes, oh, that was it. That's I've used it since. And <laughs> 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 No, but you do. You do clowning, don't you, yourselves? And uh, yeah, yeah. would you, in time, like work gags into your act? And I don't know. It's hard. You know, Cause if most of our gags right, are either yeah. made up, and so they either die or we keep them if they go down. Well, sort of in that jewel thing that, that we thought of the night before, you know. Well, it we certainly could. went down well, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, down very well, right? yeah. So you, you would, yeah, you'd like fun. to do a bit more comedy? Yeah, but it's so hard, isn't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I imagine it's easier for four fellows than I think for one. It'll be easier when we get him in the group, though. Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll leave him for up yeah. to him. Well, yeah, I'll be the one with the baggy pants. Yeah. Well, well the next thing <laughs> is, are you going to let baggy pants beat a heart of gold? No, <laughs> no, no. Are you going to let him sing if you do take him into the group? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got a great voice anyway. Because we all do all their numbers. Actually, my granddad, he was sitting up all last night in bed going, Twist Dan Show! Twist Dan Show! He's got water bottle of this. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> that. One night before he was for his supper, he had two great big boiled onions, smothered in mustard. He was up all night singing, Great Balls of Fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a good sport, Miranda. What's wrong with your hand, Kenny? 
Now let's get some paint off the thingy. Off, uh, off the uh, camera. Yeah, oh, that's yes. a lovely suit yes. now. Uh, <laughs> I like that him bone effect oh, in the back. <laughs> <laughs> You've all been lean on. What, what, what have you got planned for the future, Ken? Where are you, what, I'm going to the... Uh, I'm in court this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be in court after this. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the Royal Court, Liverpool. Mm -hmm. uh, and the lads, you're going to Liverpool as well, aren't you? Christmas, uh, uh, round about Christmas. Uh, uh, round about, yeah. We're all going home, you know, for uh, Scouse with Ollie stuff. Crizzy day. That. Yeah, crizzy day. To the pool. Oh, to the pool, yes. Uh, how long will you be there? over Christmas. A fortnight, three weeks, a Day. month? We'll be there. <laughs> Day. Yeah, because we're working, actually. Yeah, we've got, there's a Christmas show. Well, with them being away from London, the pool, the air's a bit strong for them. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm going there on the uh, from December the 13th, and if the show does any good, like, you can usually tell, they either say, send your laundry or don't send, you know. <laughs> so if they say send your laundry, you know you're there for a week anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. And how long will you be doing there, Ken? Well, for a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'm hoping to be there for about eight or nine weeks. Yeah, well, normally when you come to the opera house, you're here for three months or something, aren't you? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Do you like going back to the pool? To oh, the yes. Oh, I always oh, nice to go back the, uh, keep one jump ahead of the creditors, but, uh, you know, it's, it's lovely to go back home. What about, what about the sense of humour? I know that you carry out this study all over England about the different senses of humour in, in well, the North you and in the South. That, you boys? They throw yeah. different things in different parts of the country, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> no, they do. They're, they're different uh, parts of the... I mean, you can tell a joke in Manchester and they don't get it in London. Really? Yeah. They can't hear it. <laughs> 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 different parts of the, of the country have different sense of view, but I think they all uh, get the Liverpool, uh, the Liverpool sound and the Liverpool gags, don't they? Oh, Just uh, yeah, they do most of them. So the Liverpool, the Liverpool <coughs> audience is the easiest audience to find to work with. It's your, your uh, own well, Liverpoolians are very good audience. I don't know about Evertonians, but uh, <laughs> what are you, by the way, lads? Oh, Liverpool, they won this week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Whoever's <laughs> winning, you know. <laughs> Liverpoolians are very good uh, audiences mm. usually, yes. Yeah. Let's ask the boys, uh, how, how much has this big thing affected your own personal lives? You, you know, do, has it changed you very much yourselves? Mm. No, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's nothing wrong with them. You were always so unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. oh, what about getting home? Would you like to get home a bit more? Yeah, yeah. well, if we're going to get houses with wheels, <laughs> that's the only answer, and sort of drag them around with camels and that. Uh, and what, what about your, your folks? Do the they landlords on skates. <laughs> <laughs> what about your folks? Do they resent not seeing enough of you now? I, I, I think so, you know. We'd like to get back more than we do. But it's not always possible, you know. Mm. Uh, How do you feel about this, Ken? Do you get tired travelling around the country? And it's nice to go to different places, visit, watch the way uh, other people uh, hold their pints. <laughs> 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 yes, it's nice to travel all around the country and meet different people. But, but you make you make it a rule, don't you, to get home to Liverpool as often as you can? Uh, if I can, yes. Well, you know, for the air. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> by Joe. Thing, yeah. And I, of course, you know, as you know, Liverpool is a spa. <laughs> yeah. it's <a> <laughs> uh, years ago, you see, I have such such strong roots with Liverpool. It was one of my ancestors who actually discovered Liverpool, a man called Sir Dingle Jetty. <laughs> <laughs> He was the man who discovered the famous jam butty mines, <laughs> not the ash, until yeah. one day, unfortunately, he fell into a jam vat. <laughs> jam vat! <laughs> and expired, uh, shouting the now familiar phrase, heavens preserve us. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I like to get back to not the ash university to, um, <laughs> what, what other relations I'm have in you chambers. got? In there, you know. You're in chambers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jerry and the pacemakers. Uh, yeah. What other relations have you got in Liverpool? Liverpool? Um, well, it's my ma'am. Yeah. You've got your ma'am there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, right. And your da. Yeah. How many of you have mams and dads there? You, all four of you? Me. Friends. Yeah. And uh, 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 brothers and sisters, you know. I've oh, uh, I'm a relative. Have you any children to speak of? <laughs> I've got one to no. speak of. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> 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 go on, keep talking. Uh, that's <laughs> where, uh, that's why I have my bike, you see, and I uh, <laughs> like to go run out, you know, on the bike. and. Uh, <laughs> You know, as I say, go and see the black pudding plantations in Gattaca. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Is that I'm a black pudding plantation. Are you really? Are you the fellow that keeps planting them out there? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Are you the fellow who keeps digging them up? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's nothing nicer than to go out to uh, Gattaca and watch it all uh, being uh, happening, yeah. happening, <laughs> it's all happening in the uh, fields. It's all happening in Suppose the Suppose we could wrap this up by asking the boys very briefly, have you got a word of advice for somebody who's starting out in show business? I'll come to you later. Not, not not yet, the boys first. 
Help! Get a job. <laughs> Get a job. Help. What do you say, Ringo? Oh, Keep best trying. Of luck. Do your best, you know. Hearts oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about a word of advice from Mr. Kenneth Dodd? Then? Well, I think the best anybody starting out in show business. Uh, is that a serious question? Yes. Yeah, uh, I think anybody starting out in show business should be like the Beatles and be original. That's the thing. I think originality oh, is the uh, is the secret of success. Okay. Boys, thank you. 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 Thank